Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of GK Building. So in today's video, we're here at a friend of ours and we're gonna be looking at this 1998 double wide and see what kind of condition it is, what kind of shape it's in, things they've had to do, repairs they've had to make. And we're just gonna go over it and let you guys see how a home is, a double wide is, it's 24 years old and see if they really can be lived in more than a few years and see if they're a Cracker Jack box or actually a pretty good house. So let's get right into it guys, thank you. So guys, behind me here you can see this 1998 double wide I was just speaking of. And uh, as you can see, it's a very nice home. It has a, uh, let me get around here, flip the camera. It has a block foundation and at some point they attach this garage on the end. And this is the same house I redid the roof on. But uh, they did this block porch at some point with a concrete top, concrete steps. The house itself has a block foundation under it. And as you can see, the vinyl looks good for 1998. It's original vinyl. You can see the uh, soffits still look pretty good. Let's walk around here. And the point of this video is, is uh, a lot of people don't, and, I, and, and let's turn this around in. This video is not for uh, investment sake. I would never call a mobile manufactured home a true and a true wise investment because there is always a risk with them and things are always more difficult with them as far as loans go and as far as selling them. Uh, and that's just the way that regulations and the uh, housing market makes it. There's nothing we can do about that. But I'm not doing this video for that. I'm actually doing it for just someone who's looking to buy a mobile or manufactured home and live in it. And they're not thinking about selling it in the next four or five years. They're looking to buy one and live in it for several years. And then someday they may sell it and still can make their money back and some. But I ain't, this video is not purpose for that. It's just how a manufactured home has held up over the last 24 years. So if you look, it's original windows, and they're in good shape. I mean, at some point they're going to need to replace, but they're in good shape. You can see the soffit there and the vinyl. The vinyl does have some discoloring on it, but you can't really even hardly see it in this video. You can see it here and there. Now, at some point, it had had a water leak or two. And if you remember right, oh, there's a bird's nest. There's busy anything in it. And if you remember, the water leak's what caused. This is also the house I redid the, uh, it's also the house I redid the bathroom in it. I did a couple shorts videos on that. And, uh, a small water leak caused that flooring to rot out. So this thing does have press board sub floor in it. But that was common with the older double wides. But you know, we just fix those leaks as they show up. They've replaced this door at some point. Uh, I think he said last year he replaced the central heat and air unit. It was original before that. So they got over 20 years out of that. We did have to replace the roof. You guys seen some videos on that. And it was the original roof on the house and there was a lot of leaks in it and it had rotted some of the OSB out, but we got all that fixed and taken care of. And now it looks nice and it'll last him another 30 or 40 years. And you say, what do you mean 30 or 40 years? Well, in all honesty, if you take care of a mobile or manufactured home, 20 years is nothing for one to last. 30 years is nothing. 40 years is nothing. I could see one lasting 70, 80 years, just like a home, especially one that's on a block foundation like this one. Block foundation that keeps rodents out, keeps critters out and uh, it helps with moisture control underneath of it. With that vinyl skirting they put under a lot of them, that's just not a, not a good choice. I wouldn't do that. 
as far as the inside goes, guys, they have did a few things. Uh, they did the, uh, they remodeled the kitchen at some point. And uh, like I said, we redid that bathroom where the sub floor got it out from that water leak. And uh, I, when they first bought this place, I put in a water line for the fridge. That way they would have an ice and water dispenser on their fridge because it didn't come with that in 98. Uh, they painted the walls, new carpet floors, just common things you would do to any 24 year old house. As far as the structural integrity of this home, I've been under it from one end to the other. It's very structurally sound. Uh, it's in good condition underneath of it. Floor joists look good. Uh, the metal beams look good that it was hauled in on. I mean, you know, all mobile homes have a metal like a uh, frame that they're built on top of and that's what the axles are hooked to, to haul it. And uh, all the metal still looks great under this house. I've been in under it pretty much from one end to the other as I did some repairs and stuff. But if you're looking at a mobile or manufactured home for a house to live in for you and your family, there is definitely nothing wrong with one. Uh, the prices of them have went up dramatically, but I hear from, from my subscribers uh, that still the prices are way cheaper in some areas than it is to buy a house uh, on the market or to have a house built. So, I mean, if it's that case where a mobile manufactured home is $100,000 less then and you plan on living in this thing for 10, 15, 20 years, then by all means, go with that mobile manufactured option. I'm, I, and in some of my videos, people have said that, you know, I'm, and I don't mean to sound that way if I do, uh, they will say that, you know, uh, I'm down and on or this or that or the other. I live in a manufactured home. I personally live in one and I would never say nothing about it. I thank God I have it. But at the same time, I just try to give a honest review and honest uh, opinions and I just be point blank. You know, I don't sugarcoat it. If I see issues, quality issues, this, that, or the other, I just try to let you guys in on it. You know, I want to be honest with you all and, and just give you an honest review at the end of the day. And for a 24 year old manufactured home, this thing has held up great. It has been taken well care of. And when it has repairs, they do them. I mean, when it needs repairs, they do them. And when things break, they fix them. And that's what you're gonna to have to do with yours, just as if you bought a house. Uh, but you know, at the end of the day, the biggest thing is, is they make it harder on us to resell a mobile manufactured home. And uh, if you're doing an FHA loan, they're gonna slap a private mortgage insurance on you for the first 10 years. And even if you're under that 80% mark. So things like that are things to consider. But at the end of the day, the structural integrity of a manufactured home is sound enough that it's gonna last you and your family for years to come. And it'll be a good solid place to live for years and years if it's well taken care of. And I just wanted to make this video on this beautiful Memorial Day and share with you guys this home and let you all know uh, that I love you all and I appreciate every subscriber. And this is a simple video, but I hope y'all liked it. And if you did, leave a comment below and hit that like button for me. I really would appreciate it. And uh, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that. And I, like I said, I won't forget my first 1,000 subscribers. We're getting close to that mark. And and we're going to keep making videos what you all want to see. And uh, a, lot of guys, a lot of you all like the mobile manufactured home videos. So... I don't care to make some of those and we're still going to keep doing the building and remodeling stuff but i definitely don't care to do stuff like this i enjoy it and i think it's cool to see this 24 year old house and to me it don't look like a 24 year old house it's been well maintained and it's in very nice shape very good condition uh, on the inside like i said they did a few things here and there but it's normal stuff you would do on any house but if you all like this video, I really, really appreciate it if you would leave a comment and hit the like button. Until next time, hey, keep building, guys. See you later.